Wait, what are you pissed? Are you pissed about uh, what you were talking about earlier? Yeah, we're starting right at the water temple this time. Being ninety nine. <laughs> oh yeah. Hopefully that only happens once. Oh yeah, I should really go and... Get a long shot in this one. I don't really mind, to be honest. Okay. This one is probably going to be the most... ...aggravating temple out of all of them, because this is the only one that I can't remember off the top of my head, for the most part. Shadow Temple may be a little... Shadow Temple may be a little bit... I wouldn't say irritating. Uh... It will... I'll probably get lost a few times in the Shadow Temple, but I'll definitely get lost in this temple. Spirit Temple, I think I can guess off the top of my head pretty well, though. This is definitely the most complex out of all of them. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I don't want to do that right now. Oh, I can't go that way anyway. So I do definitely want to do this. PCIE slots even more. Basically, it won't do anything bad if I stick a 750. Yeah, I don't think it will either. I think it. it's much like the issue I have with like uh, my processor and how some games require a slightly higher processor than mine, it actually doesn't make that much of a difference. In all honesty, like, this computer is technically still more powerful than a PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4... I think it uses the next level ahead of my old uh, Radeon card. But the 970 is like leaks ahead of the technology that's in either the Xbox One or the PS4. The um, the card that you were looking at, the 950, that's leaks ahead of the uh, the two consoles. 750, I think, is actually around where the uh, the uh, the current generation of consoles are. But the uh, the thing about that is is that. PCs do need a little bit more power to them to be on the same level as consoles, because with consoles, everything is integrated. Uh, so it's a little bit easier for developers to not only uh, develop for them, but to push the, push the technology that's in them to their limit. So that's why you tend to need better technology for PC, because everything is done by you. All the technology is not really made to work with each other in mine, they can, but they're not done that way, unless they specifically say so. I'm doing okay. Uh, uh, sorry I'm so late to this today. <laughs> it's been that kind of week. I've had, I've actually been somewhat busy uh, this uh, week, which is a little bit different for me. Ooh. 
I hope you're doing good too. Besides the heck issues. <laughs> I think that was actually a good thing that that I did that. Now with this temple there's going to be a lot of going into the menu to put on the shoes. This is something that uh they dealt with really well in Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS. You can switch your boots. Your boots are items rather than like part of your like armor, like going into the menu like this. So it works a lot like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, where you set it to. I don't know if you set it to a C stick or like to a button or what. Because I forget exactly how it looked in on the Hellfire Comms video I watched for the 3D version. Or the 3D remake. Not even a remake, it's exactly the same game. Except I think they put the Master Quest stuff in, and it, obviously the graphics look a lot better. Don't have a branded power supply, so I'm going to be safe with what the person put into the computer already. I'm going to keep a graphics card that is not more... Yeah, and... It's actually it's actually better that you go with Nvidia rather than AMD in that regard as well. AMD tends to AMD cards tend to run hotter and they also use up more energy, which is interesting because Nvidia's cards are technically more powerful than AMD's cards are. But they use much less energy. Oops. I don't think I can use a Megaton Hammer in here. Oh. Can't use the Ocarina either, but that makes sense. I don't even really need the Lens of Truth in here, though. Can't use that, either. I don't think you can use anything in here, to be honest. These will be the most annoying things in this. In this <laughs> dungeon. Because you move so slow. Had bad frame drops at times, so I was lucky. Yeah, that's... I don't think that ever happened to me, really, when I had my old AMD cards. But I think that was because I had two of them. I was doing crossfire. So I didn't have to worry too much in that regard. Whoops. The 750, that's an NVIDIA card, isn't it? Because AMD's numerical values are like the thousands, not the, uh, not the hundreds, like, uh... Like AMD is. Yeah. I don't think I can... I don't think there's any other rooms I can go on this level. Oh wait, right there. I don't think... I have to... I need to use the arrows for this. I can't use the hookshot. Yeah. Yeah, 
Okay, like I, like I said, AMD cards, they take up more energy, and there's, uh, and even the, what is technically the equivalent of the NVIDIA card, is the NVIDIA card still outperforms it for the most part. Yeah, there's nothing else on this floor, I gotta go to the bottom floor. So, in all I with like a, in all honesty, with both cars, you get what you pay for. Like the AMD cars are considerably cheap, cheaper. So I would use those if you're really, really on a budget. You can't afford getting an Nvidia card. Oh, I can't. I can't go in there anyway, even if I did have the long shot. <laughs> uh, that wasn't even uh, the GPU's fault. It was because I had it in the wrong friggin' slot. I actually had it in the PCIe slot that's meant for graphics cards. That was a huge fault on my end. But for some reason, the uh, the PCIe slot, the top PCIe slot that I put it into that was meant for it, doesn't work at all, and I'm wondering why that is. Maybe there's a lot of dust in it, and I just didn't dust it out, or... I don't know. I think they might have changed her player model in the uh, later vert. Now you know what they didn't in the N64, any of the N64 versions, but they made her look a little more modest in uh, in the 3DS version. It's a shame that his technically wife is not going to be around for much longer. Unless you're like... Like, I didn't really think much of it when I was a kid. It wasn't an actually until I saw people like really analyze the story behind this game. Where they, uh... Where it actually brought to light, like, why exactly these people are here and what happens to them. And why they actually appear as, uh, the different sages. Uh, it was like Destiny that they're here in the first place. But, uh, not only that, the reason why you always meet, like, a specific, like, counterpart to each of the dungeons is that they're destined to come here. They're technically destined to die here so they can be reborn as a sage. And I'm in a. There's a guy that I watch that does ruminations on a lot of different uh, video games, and he's been doing a lot of the Zelda series, but he did Ocarina of Time a while ago, and. For him, I would agree with him that for the most part, if you really look into the story of The Legend of Zelda, it's actually very dark and very. Uh, very dark, very violent. They just don't, like, really present it that way. And it's actually really cool that people have, like, looked into... People have looked into that, and it's... It's actually really cool that for a game not necessarily made for children, but made for, like, a broad audience... ...that they would have, like, such deep and, like, such compelling, like, stories with them. 
even when the story isn't necessarily the main focus. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's always good to talk with other people to get an idea about like technical things. I try and I do it all the time with uh, when I'm in stream with like other people. You've seen me before. Save just in case. Oh, I couldn't go in there anyway. I need to lower the water level. They give you bombs for some reason, but... Way easier to just still take them out with a hook shot. But if anything, uh, I would when it comes to technology, don't just take word of mouth. <laughs> look it, look it up yourself as well. Exhaust every avenue because I've said it before, technology is a lot like a math problem. One thing goes wrong with it, everything doesn't work. You have to go back to the beginning and retrace your steps before you actually find the damn problem to begin with. That's why I have a very love-hate relationship with technology in general. <laughs> I love what it does when it fucking works. Hey, isn't there like a... Uh... See the lens of, tr lens of truth for a second. Uh, but there, there really wouldn't be any, anything in here. I don't know... The lens of truth, because you're technically not supposed to have it yet. So I don't really know why I checked, but eh. Actually wondering, I know you get you can get a bigger but, uh... There's another, there's more areas on this floor where I can change the water level. Not that one. It's actually interesting that they give you the map and the compass right off the bat. They already know that this was a very complicated dungeon. Fuck me. Okay, well... I guess I should go to the top floor, then. There's nothing down here I can get. I was in that way already. And this is the entrance, so where do I go now? Oh, there we go. I don't think I went here yet. I can't go there yet. Uh, I knew this was going to be bad, but I didn't think I was going to be lo this lost this early. I have to lower the water level, but I don't know how to do that. distance. I know it. Hmm. Ah, hey, random. 
Oh. I'm already lost in this dungeon, by the way. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> There's something I'm missing. There's nothing I can do up here. Maybe there was something else that I was supposed to do. I can't use Din's fire underwater. I can't use bombs in our water, can I? No. I also can't use the hammer. So in order to even get down there, I have to lower the water level. Laser minigun and... I need to get back to that at some point. I played it like once and I kind of just forgot about it. Everyone's probably dead in my shelter by now. I don't know if it's persistent or not. There's nothing up here. I'm, su uh, I'm surprised by that. A second. There's nothing... No, there's nothing in here. I can't do anything there. Can't do anything here either. Not until I lower the water level. I just gotta look everywhere until... I find something. I don't think I can't even do anything down here that I know of. Let me just look. Yeah, I can't do anything in here because I don't have the. I don't have the long shot, and I don't have a key. So those two areas, I can't do anything in. Around here. I was in there already. And there's nothing I can do here. Because I can't shoot underwater. I was in here before, but maybe I missed something. Upgrade these things again. There's nothing else in here. There's nothing else I can get in this area. Uh-oh. Whoa. I can't believe I am already lost. <laughs> this is why nobody likes this dungeon. This 
So, I've exhausted those two avenues. So, the only thing that I can do... ...is go in here, is find something on the third floor. Unless... Could I shoot from up here? I think maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Alright, uh, it's covered up. I couldn't if I wanted to. way is literally to the boss, so I can't go that way anyway, it's out of the question. It's gotta be like a switch or something. Can I really not move this back? God damn it. Not that it matters, there was nothing else I could get in there anyway. That way goes back to the beginning. Isn't it? Yeah, that's the entrance. There's a key I'm missing. Is there a door that I keep passing by? No, there isn't. So there's probably something I have to shoot that I'm just not seeing. Oh yeah, maybe there's something here that I can shoot from up here. Not on this side. Can't shoot from here anyway because that is too long. How about from here, though? Is there anything I can shoot from here? No? How about from here, then? Nothing here, either. Oh, from this side. Oh my god. I can't believe this dungeon is beating me already. All I got was the map and the compass, and I saw Rudo. That's it. And I don't know what else to do. Uh, if you guys want to help me, uh, go right ahead, because I'm lost.
I don't know what to do. Maybe there's a switch that I can hit on the bottom here with a hook shot. Hey, Bobson. Welcome to Throwback Thursday, and I'm already at a loss for words with this dungeon, because I have no idea what to do. I'm, like, wondering what they could have put around here. To help me move on. And I'm open to help. I got the map and the compass, and I saw Rudo. That's it. This dungeon has already been made. What is going on? I have no idea where to come next. I'm stumped. There's no switch. No anything. I've went into every single room and I haven't seen a single thing to hit. I can't do this. Because I can't throw bombs in her water. There's nothing down here, either. I don't want to look it up, either. <laughs> you can help- uh, anybody can help me, but I really don't want to look up game facts to know where to go next. <laughs> I've been trying to do this without any help from a guide. Take help from other people. I don't Google it for me. If you uh, if you know it by memory, then tell me. But googling it for me on Game Facts is no different from me just looking it up myself. There's got to be a switch or something that I'm missing. If you don't want to help me, then I'll be stuck here for the next two hours. <laughs> okay, uh... If I'm stuck here for the next... in the same spot for like... When I hit the hour 30 mark on my, uh, recording here... Then I'll ask for help on the, for the next part. Or then I'll actually Google it. I really don't want to, but it's just literally me gonna be me going back and forth for like the next half hour if I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, this is just incredible that this dungeon has already beaten me, and all I did was three things. I, for I forgot how bad this dungeon was. How really bad. Like, I, I knew it was bad, but I never knew it was this bad. Or it can beat you right off the bat. Like I can't, uh, I can't do Zelda's lullaby from here. I can't do the hook shot on that thing. It's got to be the arrows. So that means I got to lower the water level. One thing, maybe. There's no switch over there, is there? Like, in this. Yeah, I take, uh, I stream five days a week, I take two days off. Uh, it used to only be four days a week, but I've loved it so much that I extended it to Sunday. It used to be only Monday to Thursday. <sighs> I 
keep giving me arrows. See, I can't even do anything in here either. Because it won't let me push this back. I don't think I glitched this dungeon. There's just something I'm missing. Because there was nothing else in there to, uh, in the only area that I could go to back there. That means I gotta get it from another room. <laughs> I am still near the beginning. All I got was the map, the compass, and I saw Rudo. I could go back to her room. Because there's, there's literally nothing here that I can actually hit. See, <sighs> so this is this is the last place new thing that I did. It was right here. And Rudo had me go up. And that's where I got the compass, or that's where I got the map, was up here. I can't go in there yet. There it is! I found it on my own. Yeah, this is the water dungeon. I did not see this before. That's how you lower the water level. That's what I was trying to do. Technically, you can do it this way, but you can also do it with dense fire. I'm gonna do it this way. Because this way is not that hard to do. Just gotta line it up right. You gotta line it r up right, and you have to do it fast enough. There we go. Got a small key. So 
So now we're making progress. There we go. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, this is the thing where there's a false floor here. I wonder, can I break that with the make it hammer instead of using a bomb? Ah, I gotta use a bomb. As I said earlier, this is this is the dungeon that nobody ever seemed to like. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm supposed to put those on just yet. a gold skull teller back there. I think you use a bomb right here because it goes through the grating. Oh, I was wrong. So what am I supposed to do here? I don't think I can get that yet anyway. Let me just do look around, make one more pass before I leave. Yeah, I don't think I can actually get whatever's in here. Or that. I think that's just the gold skull So I just can't get this just yet. My favorite one's actually Majora's Mask. I thought the story was better, I kind of like that it was more... Technically, every Zelda is kind of a dark story, but Majora's Mask was had more of that tone. Going the wrong way. Yeah. I, this actually takes... I've played up to Twilight Princess, but I've never beaten Twilight Princess. I've never played Oracle of Ages or Seasons. I think I may actually... I'll find an emulator and play that. Play those. Because <sighs> uh, I've only ever heard good things about the Oracle's games. I've heard some negative, not too much. I can't do this anyway. I don't have the long shot yet. Link to the Past would actually be second. This would be a very close third, though. Because I've played the fuck out of Link to the Past. Uh, Majora's Mask is one of those games where you're timed. Constantly. They handle it really well. And the thing with Majora's Mask is that there's a lot more side quest stuff that it's technically side quest because you don't need it to beat the game, but at the same time, it's... And I'm talking about the masks, mostly. It's highly encouraged that you get those masks because of what you get at the very end. And... 
Uh, it has the gameplay style of Ocarina of Time, and it adds like different flavors to it and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. It's unique. Uh, games that I play more often aren't necessarily games that I like over the other. Like uh, GTA V, I've only played is my favorite game of all time at the moment. It actually beat out a uh, Super Metroid. I don't play it that much though. Just because I don't play it that much doesn't mean it isn't my uh, among my favorites, or that I like it, or, or that I actually don't like it as much as games that I play a lot more. Because sometimes games just have a very high replay value. It's not necessarily that I enjoy them way more than games that uh, way more than other games. It's just that they get me to come back to them. So there's like a lot of different factors uh, of whether or not a certain game I like more than the other. I will play Majora's Mask eventually, though. On stream. I've beaten it once. At least... I've beaten it once, and I've, like, played through a half of it, a, at least half of it a few times. <sighs> now we're making progress. Is there anything down there that I would need? I don't think there is. Nah. It's the delay is probably about twenty seconds. That's usually what it is for low low level streamers like me. Like anywhere between twenty and forty seconds. Usually my delay is like a good twenty, twenty five seconds. Well, I would also play more GTA 5 if it didn't crash on me after an hour. I get this stupid, uh, it has to do with my graphics card. For some reason, I get this, like, it's this, like, GFX error. And in order to even, and it's not even guaranteed that this would work properly, but people have, like, recommended certain ways to end it. I think maybe I should like reinstall the game and see if that helps too. I haven't really done that. Yeah, and I still have that I still have that issue, but it's not GTA 5's fault, it's I think it's level three. I don't think it's a Comcast issue. Especially since I got someone from corporate, they they looked at my connection, they couldn't find anything wrong. They uh they said they went step by step. They asked me what I did to see if I could fix it on my end. They went through step by step to see to ask see what they did on their ends. Like a minute, a minute thirty. It might be different for some people. I verified the game page more than once. That did not help at all. Uh, but there's actually a, a there's a crash that happens. Like it's actually been happening more frequently lately, and I don't know why. It used to happen like after a couple of hours. Now it seems like it happens every uh, if I play the game for no more than an hour. It might depend on where your location is uh, in the country, with how your delay is, especially if you're like if you're overseas, the delay might be bigger. <laughs> yes, I did turn it off and back on again. Oh yeah, I remember this. You have to mess with uh, taking your boots on and off. Oh wait. Never mind, I have to do that. Oh, it actually might be to my benefit if I got on this dragon.
That's why they were so fast. They weren't on our water. Uh, well, that's uh, considerably north of me. down there for me. So, I got two keys. I'll figure out how to raise the water level next. <sighs> Server. I'm streaming from uh, Pennsylvania, but I think the server might be in New York. Hey, I think I might actually have to play the song of time here. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, here we are, it's all those lullaby. And I think this is how you, yeah, here's the water level from here. I can't raise it anymore in here. I actually think I used to stream from a Chicago server, but that one was having issues, so I switched to the one in New York. Oh yeah, I should... I should do this. Shot for that. It's too far away. Yes. I think this is too far away, too. Could do this. Oh, wait, no. Didn't do, that actually doesn't do anything.
Oh, that's just to get back it. I, I was here already. <laughs> here we are. This is where I'm supposed to go next. Oh yeah, they're gonna fall down from there. Remember the first time I did this dungeon, they scared the hell out of me because I didn't know where they were at. And they just fell right on top of me. Oh, I guess it's just the one. This is how you bring it back up. Wait a second. Why would I do this though? Oh wait, no. it's because I have the okay. It's because I have the middle area unlocked now. Oops. There's any of those blocks here, is there? No. Nah. I don't know why I thought there was. Oh shit. Oh shit, you know what? I fucked it all up. There was something else I was supposed to get on the second level. And it was in Rudo's. I gotta do this all over again. I gotta go down, I gotta set it to the second floor, and then I gotta come back down to this, to this level. Because there was a key that I forgot. I can't go any further until I get it. Not this one either. This is not where Rudo was. I remember that... I remember this being so grating because I I think every single time I've done this dungeon I forgot that I forgot to do that. And I ended up setting it back to level three. Thankfully at least it's a little bit faster to get there. A little. Wish you could just swim up faster. That's where I have to go next. I have to set it to level 2 and then come back down here. But unfortunately, I have to set it back to level 1 so I can go into that middle area. I've people joked about that when I was young. But is that an actual tradition <laughs> in the UK? 